Richard Scary. in time for my donut. Are you sure you wouldn't like to try something different today, April? How about the fruit salad? No, thank you, Mr. Raccoon. I'll have the spinach souffle, just like I do every day. Everyone has the same thing every day. Nothing ever changes. Morning, Mr. Raccoon. I'll have the usual. See what I mean? Every minute of every day is the same. Any second now, Mr. Frumble's gonna walk in here and say, Good morning, Mr. Raccoon. I'm so looking forward to my daily morning donut. You see? I know what's gonna happen before it happens. I don't know why I bother getting up in the morning. I need a change. I'm going out. Uh, excuse me, but uh, could I have my donut first, please? Have anything you like, Mr. Frumble. In fact, Give anybody anything they want while I'm gone. You're in charge. Me? In charge? Where's Mr. Raccoon going? Hmm, I don't know. But I'm in charge now. Really? I'd like a spinach souffle, please. It should be over there. And there's my peanut butter and jam sandwich. Fine. A spinach butter sandwich and one jam souffle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. A spinach butter souffle and one jam spinach. Oh, was it the other way around? I know. It's Mr. Frumble's fun surprise. I don't think Mr. Raccoon will think this is a fun surprise. I can't leave on an empty stomach. I'll just take this with me. Good idea. I don't want to be around when Mr. Raccoon gets back. Voila! Here I am, just in time for my usual hot cereal. It's warming up, Mr. Fixit. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, uh, Mr. Raccoon might want to call me later. Uh, I can fix anything. Here you go. Except maybe this hot cereal. Where is Mr. Raccoon, anyway? I'm going to make some changes. Hmm. Wallpaper or paint? Hey! What's going on? Where's Mr. Raccoon? I just got to have my banana shake. Nothing ah. to worry about. I've been left in charge now. Mr. Frumble? All by yourself? Exactly. Well, then, can you make me a banana shake? Coming right up. Dishes in the dishwasher, bananas in the blender. Oh, Mr. Frumble, can I have a toasted banana sandwich, too? Sure thing, bananas. Uh, Mr. 
to Frumble. I'm gonna make some changes. And to start with, fresh paint and new wallpaper for that dreary coffee shop. That should perk up my customers. Okay, let her go, Squirty. Mr. Raccoon, I'm here for my usual glass of orange juice. Oh, my. What happened here? Uh, Mr. Frumble. Mr. Frumble, I'm back. My coffee shop. What have you done to my coffee shop? We can explain. A spinach souffle peanut butter sandwich flew over there. And my banana shake, well, it went through the wash and ended up over there. You have to admit, Mr. Raccoon, not every coffee shop has a spinach souffle, peanut butter, jam, and banana motif. It's different. Different? You call this different? I wanted to paint and re-wallpaper the place to make a few changes. This isn't different. It's fantastic! I love it! You, you do? do? How can I ever thank you, Mr. Frumble? Well, I'd still like to have my morning donut, please. Here you are, Mr. Frumble. Have as many as you like. But I warn you, today it just might taste a bit different. Uh-oh. Imagine that. Oh, there's not enough wind. Look, the windmill sails aren't moving either. Sails on a windmill? Windmills let people use the power of the wind to harvest the strength that it brings. The long, big blades that turn round are called sails. Windmills can do many things. The wind moves the sails and they turn round and round. The sails work the gears in the mill. Windmills can do many jobs with their power. They even grind wheat into flour. The windmill can pump the water we need. Windmills can generate electricity that travels through wires to country or town. Yes, wind makes the windmill go round. The windmill sails are turning now. So are we! Whoa! in the lovely city of Venice. It's a place of beautiful buildings, colorful people, and water. Venice was built on the water, so there are canals instead of streets, with boats instead of cars and trucks. There are mail boats, police boats, ice cream boats. But best of all, there are gondolas, the boats for people who are in love. But not everyone in Venice has a gondola, like Mario. Mario rows a melon boat. Melons, melons, melons for sale. Melons, anybody? Melons, always a melons. Oh, if only I had a nice little gondola, then I too could row cockles to weddings. Gondola! Gondola! Prego, please. Won't you ride in my boat? You can eat all of the melons you want. Wonderful. There's plenty of room. Let's go on that one. Oh, look! A 
real gondola over there. Hey, go! Wait! Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Oh. Nobody wants to ride in my boat. Not even my melons. Sorry. Pardon. <clears throat> oh, why couldn't I have just a nice, narrow little gondola? Mario! Oh, you look like a man who needs some linguine. No, what I need is a smaller boat. If only I had a little romantic gondola, then I could row couples to their weddings like a real gondolier. <laughs> Don't be silly, Mario. Your boat is just fine. <laughs> See? I cause nothing but trouble. How are you? Nice to see you. Buongiorno. Gondola. Huh? What's this? Gondola. Gondola. If only... <sighs> Mario? Is that you under there? See. Si. Look how nice my boat looks. Why doesn't anyone want to ride in it? I will tell you why no one wants to ride in your boat, Mario. First, it moves too slow. Second, it is not small like the others. Third, it takes up too much room on the canal. So what are you telling me is that my boat is too big? Yes, Mario. That's exactly what I'm telling you. <sighs> Scusi, over here, please, gondola! At your service! My daughter will not go to her wedding on a melon boat! You, over there! To the chapel! Marco, Pina, Franco, Gina, Pietro, Tina, Giacomo, Pasquina. Are we all here? Eli! Eli, let's go! Gondola, prego! Gondola, please! Marco, Pina, Franco, Gina, Pietro, Tina, Giacomo, Pasqui. Papa, the wedding cake! What we need, I think, is a bigger boat. Did somebody ask for a nice big boat? Ecco, just what we want. Marco, Tina, Franco, Tina, Pietro, Tina, Giacomo, Pasquina, <laughs> and Eli. <laughs> presto, presto, to the chapel, we're late. And wet. Mario, melons, and the wedding party. Bravo, Mario! Bravo! Isabella's father was so grateful, he gave Mario his very own gondola. But Mario didn't forget his old melon boat. You see, Isabella and Paolo now have lots of little children. And there is only one gondolier in all of Venice who can carry them all.
for a swim in the pool. <laughs> it looks like everyone in Busy Town had the same idea. You can jump, dive, splash, and float. Make believe you're a submarine boat. But first of all, before you jump in, you should learn how to swim. Remember when you're in the pool, listen to the lifeguard and follow the rules. Always look before you jump in. You wouldn't want to hurt yourself or a friend. Be careful not to run around the deck because it's slippery when it's wet. Never dive into the shallow end. Take a buddy with you when you swim. If you follow all of these rules, you'll be safe in the swimming pool. If you follow all the rules, you'll be safe in the swimming pool. If you follow... Last one in is rotten in! soccer with Lily and me? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Today I'm babysitting for Pig Will and Pig Won't. Pig Won't? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, I'm sure. Babysitting is a piece of cake. Hello, Hilda. You're right on time. Do you think you could do a few chores for me today? Of course, Mrs. Pig. I hope the boys won't be too much trouble. Pig won't can be a handful sometimes. Oh, we're gonna get along just fine. Right? Yes, we will. No, we won't. Well, good luck, Hilda. Goodbye, boys. Now, who will tell me which of you is which? I will, I will. I won't. Hmm. I think I just figured it out myself. Well, let's get to work. Who will help me dry the dishes? I will, I will. I won't. I'm going outside. Okay, Pig Wolf, if you don't mind missing all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> See, Pig Will? Washing dishes can be fun. Watch. <laughs> wow! Let me try that. I won't play this game. <laughs> Let's do more, Hilda. Oh, I'm sorry, Pig Won't. That must sting. Will you let me help you? No, I won't. Hmm. Now, who will help me scrub the patio deck? I will, I will. Pig Won't? I won't. I wouldn't dream of making you, Pig Won't. <laughs> You should try it, Pig Won't. No, I won't. I won't. Hey, I know something even more fun. I'll be the goalie. You try to score and pretend that this is the goal. One point for me. <laughs> I won't play this game. Look out, Pig Won't! <laughs> Is this your soap, Hilda? We heard a crash. Is everything okay? Oh, we're fine. We're having lots of fun. And when Pig Won't decides to join in, he'll have lots of fun, too. I won't, I won't, I won't. Phooey! 
Good luck, Hilda. Time to polish the table. Get it nice and shiny now, Pig Will. Let me give you a push, Pig won't. No, I won't. Beautiful. It's so shiny now we can go shopping. Ow! <sighs> I think you should be more careful. I. I know, I know. You won't. Huh? I hate shopping and I won't help. I won't, I won't, I won't. Here are the crackers, Hilda. Thank you, Pig Will. Now, would you please get a bag of oranges, Pig Will? No, I won't. I won't. Ow! Look out! You! Look what you've done here. He didn't do it on purpose. Some little kids do this kind of thing on purpose. Well, I don't think this little boy meant to, right? Well, I hope you pick up these boxes. Now, who will help me? I will. I... I... I will, Hilda. I'll help you. You will? Yes. I think that maybe if I said I will more often today, I would have had lots more fun. I'm sorry, Hilda. It's okay, Pig Won't. Just do me a favor and don't say won't anymore. I... I won't! <laughs> <laughs> now, who will help me with this ice cream? I will! I will! Did you hear that? Pig Won't said, I, I will! will. Wow, Hilda, you really must be the best babysitter ever. <laughs> <laughs>